Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about where the mark went this past week, where we think the mark's going in this coming week. And if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. So if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, and lots of pain. But over time, I became more consistent. I believe that you will as well, if you're not already. So without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We're taking a look at NASDAQ on the four hour chart. Last video, I said that if we got that close on the four hour basis above 1560, then we can expect higher levels and we'd be confirmed bullishness. We did that on Friday. Friday, huge gap down, uh, pushed down to 14,700 on NASDAQ, but then ended the day green. It was a massive intraday swing from minus over 1% to plus one or two percent so it was like a three percent swing and you know we had some unfortunate war news come up overnight in the weekend so we we kind of gapped down but again it's monday end of the day we're just about to close the market about one minute and we're closing green so i actually just took one off at 15,200. so i took about a quarter of my position off at 15,200 and uh, final TP is, was just about 20 points away at 15,240 uh, for about 370 points on the NASDAQ long uh, that I've been showing you as we've been going along. I got in the long back here where mouse is uh, September 25th holding the swing long as we've been consolidating and pushing up and we've confirmed bullishness, right? So we are expecting higher highs and higher lows from here on out uh, based on the four hour and almost on the daily. So let's zoom out and take a look at the daily chart. Uh, as you can see on the daily chart, it's much more clear. Basically, institutions were scooping up longs and now we're pushing up. Um, question is, do we only come up to the 618 at about 15,289 and fill in the fair value gap from FOMC and then get rejected and come back down? Or do we get a close all the way up at 15,480? And in that case, uh, I'd be more confident in longs uh, on the daily chart. Uh, but right now, it looks like you know we have some trouble at about 15,290, and you'll have to see if we can get above that. Now we have the 50-day moving average here, sloping down, so we could get rejected there, 618 FIB and the 50-day moving average, and then come back down. Uh, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Uh, but now I'm moving my stops to break even, so I moved my stops up to 14,870. I took a partial off at 15,200. Uh, my ultimate TP is at 15,240. Maybe we'll hit there tomorrow. Maybe we won't, but. You know, the long is looking good, right? Let's take a look now on the weekly chart. So weekly chart, I did like, I said this in the last video, I liked that we made uh, a wick low here and the next week was ever so slightly above the previous week's low. So we had higher highs and higher lows for these two bars of the weekly basis. And then currently now we have another higher high on a weekly basis. So this is very bullish because we have a low here, we have a higher low and another higher low. So three weekly higher lows and three weekly higher highs at the moment, but nothing to be excited about yet because if you just look right here in August, we had a low, we had a higher low and higher high and another weekly higher low, higher high. So doesn't mean that we can't dip below and sell off below these lows. It just means that it's a start of some bullishness. Let's take a look at ES now. ES, uh, stronger on the day, the NASDAQ for once. Uh, if you see in the weekly chart, this looks... Uh, somewhat bullish. I would like us to get above 43.85 on a weekly basis, at least for ES. But let's go to the daily chart. Daily chart here, same idea. Uh, would love a daily close above these highs here uh, at about 43.90. If we can get a close there, maybe tomorrow this week, then it looks a little more promising. But like I said in the previous times, once we do sell off, we go maybe dip below 200 day moving average. Once we get back above the 200 day though, it's lights out. We kind of just trade straight up and take out the highs we made previously. So we'll get to 4,700 next, most likely. Uh, let's go to the four hour chart now, four hour chart. This looks bullish, right? We have a low, right? We have a high, we have a low. We have a lower low, lower low, right? So it's bearish, pushed up to resistance to the left, made a low, sold off, made a lower low, but respected the swing lows, then closed above and got above these highs. So now we have a higher high. So this is confirmation of bullishness, uh, gap down, made a low and pushed up, made a higher high. So this high, this higher low and this higher high, very bullish combination. Same idea on NASDAQ, uh, market closed, right? We're at 15,200. We made this higher high, we made a higher low and now a higher high again, extremely bullish. So this looks great. This is exactly what we want to see. And um, I'm happy about that for my swing longs. So moving forward, 
you, we should now not be looking for shorts whatsoever. If you're looking for a short and you're looking to swing for a day or two days or a few days, it's not wise to look for shorts whatsoever on ES or NASDAQ. Um, but if you're still on a weekly basis and you're looking to hold for, for weeks, then yes, uh, shorts still are expected to play out on ES and NASDAQ from a weekly perspective. So let's take a look at the VIX now on the daily chart. And I said in the previous video that once we get below the 200 day moving average, we usually test the 50 day. So we closed below on Friday and I thought that was it, but then we gapped up because the war news and now we're closing right on the 200 day moving average. That's still bullish for the VIX, which means it's still weakness for the market. I would love to see the VIX uh, close below uh, this previous low that we just made. So that way we have confirmation of lower high, lower low on the VIX and, and close below the 200 day moving average. So that we can get that knife down to the 50 day and get an explosive push up on NASDAQ and ES. So still uh, kind of strong on the VIX, to be honest, which is not good for the market. We need to see a close at, at, at 17, uh, 17 on the VIX or a little lower. Now let's look at DXY. So DXY is, is cooling off, right? So we are getting that cool off. Now, question becomes here, are we gonna take out this swing low? It really looks like it to me. It looks like we are extremely weak and we're gonna take out this swing low at uh, 105.6. If we do that, then yeah, more juice for ES and NASDAQ. But yeah, it's extremely bullish, right? We're still very bullish on the dollar. If we go to the weekly chart, we should still expect the dollar to make higher highs. And if it's gonna make higher highs, then that's that's more weakness for ES and NASDAQ. Um, not a whole lot to say here other than it is bullish. Expect the trend to be up on the dollar. What we wanna see is if we're bullish on the market, we wanna see the dollar close below 105.6. Then we could say, okay, we are bearish on the daily. Once we're bearish on the daily, that's when you know it's safer to be in longs on NASDAQ and safer to be longs on ES. I'm gonna close more of my position now. So consider this uh, trade done at uh, just about uh, 340 points. So I took about 340 points. I'm assuming we're gonna push up even more, but I'd love to lock it in here, 340 points. But it, you know, it took two weeks, almost got stopped out. But yeah, I'm gonna look and wait for us to basically trade back down to the 15,000 area. Uh, we could push higher, get rejected 15,000, and then I'll get an, an, another long, most likely, on NASDAQ. Uh, or I might switch to ES if we get more confirmation. Before, NASDAQ was stronger, so now I think that possibly ES will be stronger. So that's kind of also why I'm closing the long on NASDAQ. I just like to get in uh, ES if it shows more strength and we can do that, get that confirmation of the bullish market structure shift. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. I post two videos a week just like this, one every Wednesday and every Sunday. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos just like this. Again, I post two videos a week. I really do appreciate your support. And look for my next video coming out Wednesday night. And I'll see you in the next video.